Hello everyone. Um, today I wanted to do an unboxing of uh, some new uh, board that I got and some new drivers. The board I got is the Bit3Tech uh, GTR version 1.0 and the new drivers are the BTT um, TMC2226 which are uh, similar to the 2209 okay so let's start with the unboxing so inside we have the usual gadget let's put it aside uh, power cables USB cable <coughs> some pins um, and then we'll, we'll show you what they're for card, usual card and this is the board let me move the box The board is in a static pen. Let me open it. Let's see if I have to grab some tools in just a second. Okay. I just got the board, so. Something okay. Here's the board. Uh, let me see if I can move it a little bit. You can see it better. Okay, great. So the board is similar to the BTTS KR Pro. Uh, form factor is pretty much the same, uh, but the, there are differences uh, in what you can do with the board. Um, so, similar to the SKR Pro uh, power connector, driver uh, driver connector, the power connector, the hot bed, uh, hot bed, and the bed power connector. Okay, and here there is, there are, um, the um, hot hands uh, connector. Uh, let me see. Let me move a second. Um, so here are the E0, E1, E2 uh, for the heater. Uh, this is a K temp, which is pretty cool to have. Uh, CNC fans, there are three. USB plug to connect to your computer. Here you can insert a USB stick. Um, SD card, there is an SD card already in there, I think it's 120 megabit, megabyte. Um, here there is the TFT interface, behind here there is the plug for if you want to add Wi-Fi module interface, um, reset button, okay, this is our the interface to the uh, extended board because one cool thing on this board is that you can extend to multiple extruder to use in multi-tool uh, type of uh, uh, 3D printer uh, this row which are used with this uh, pins are for an extension in Raspberry Pi, which is very interesting. Uh, here again, bed temperature plug, E0, E1, and E2 temperature plug. Um, these are the extended interface for 
you connect the end stops um, what else LCD here and here of course these are the driver so you have X Y Z the Z with the double uh, motor connection E0, E1, E2 um, what else um, of course there are a few fuse, one here so three fuse which is always good and uh, so the CPU it's a uh, similar to the FKR uh, but in the interesting part here is compared to the uh, SKR that has an EEPROM so you can write to the EEPROM and you can store your settings uh, while the SKR you had to uh, you couldn't do it so you had to buy an extension module and do some connection down and some configuration in the modeling uh, firmware so that is a pain um, so I bought this to uh, replace the SKR and I will use the SKR as a backup. Um, the back is similar. So you have all the heating uh, dissipator here. So you can actually attach some uh, heat sinks here if you want. And that's what I have done in the S care. Uh, of course, the most here are all the plugs usually. Um, so um, here are an extension for the power shutdown module or the um, resume printing module, which I'm getting that too. Um, and there are some changes uh, in the in the layout, of course, but uh, in some on the components that they're using. Uh, so it should be more reliable as a board to do three printing. And of course, there is the cool part to extend the board with the with a new extension board to do multi tooling. If you are um, designing or making that kind of three D printer, okay. So this is the board, and then I got the two 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 sex uh, drivers. I got five because my board has uh, two extruders. Here the usual card with the pin layout. Oh, sorry. Okay, and it's pretty standard. The board. The box and uh, has the drivers here. Let me show you. In focus. Okay, so these are the TMC2226 version 1.0. So they are pretty much the same as the 2209. So you can do sensors, uh, homing, and probing. Uh, but the other uh, improvement, I think, is a higher uh, current, and um, they have lower temperature uh, when you use it, which is always good. So you touch the heat sink here, or you can buy bigger ones. Uh, these are the small ones. So um, the back. Pretty similar to the other ones. So it's a good upgrade to the 2209. So I put five. So I will attach this and do some testing for sensor is homing and probing, which I'm using in my 3D printer. Again, here, nice view on the sides on the board, not much here, here are the drivers uh, and uh, 
I tested already, uh, no, I tested, I compiled already Marlin for Marlin 2053 and even the latest for this board. So you have to just change the configurations file to compile for uh, this board and it compiles fine. Um, I will uh, add the links to this board if you are interested in buying and I will test uh, this board in the coming weeks to my big 3D printer and hopefully I'll resolve the EEPROM problem and uh, I'll lower the temperature usage of the drivers during usage which is really good since my prints will last a couple of days so that was an important aspect uh, to buy the new drivers here Okay, so I'll see you on next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.